Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on the Dell 13-inch 7000 series 2-in-1 laptop unboxing and review. Okay, to start with, on the front of the box we see the Dell logo and a simulated keyboard. On the left side of the box we see a couple of barcodes and the Dell tag number. On the back of the box we see the Dell logo and we see a retail label. On the right side of the box we see the specs and let's take a closer look at the uh, label here and let me ramble off a couple of the specs it's a 7000 series model 7353 it has a 13.3 touch high definition screen um, it comes with an Intel i5 6200 U processor 8 gig of memory and a 128 gigabyte SSD and of course Windows 10 all right, back to the front, and now on the bottom of the box, we see a bunch of uh, labels. And then on the top of the box, we see Dell, and it says Intel as well. And yes, I do know I have it upside down, but uh, we can still see it. Let me grab my knife, and let's open this up so that we can see what's inside the box. Sometimes the tape can be a little tricky. And once we do have it loose, we can pop that open and let's take a look and see what we have the first thing out of the box is going to be the AC adapter slash charger and it comes in two pieces and once connected you can charge up your battery on your laptop or you can run the laptop um, right off of the AC power only and conserve your battery okay let's pull out some more packaging here Okay, let's go ahead and move the AC adapter slash charger over to the side so that we can have some more room to pull out the 2-in-1 laptop and take a closer look at it. It comes uh, fully wrapped in a nice uh, plastic uh, cover to protect it. And let's go ahead and slip it out and take a closer look at it. Now this 2-in-1 laptop from Dell seems to be made of good quality materials. So now let's take a look at the ports that are available on it. On the left hand side, we have a headphone slash mic jack. We have two 3.0 USB ports. We have an HDMI port, an AC port, and a lock mechanism port. Okay, on the back, we're pretty much clean except for two hinges that allow you to open up the laptop and turn it into a tablet. Um, we have on the right hand side, we have an additional um, 3.0 USB port and an SD reader. We have a rocker button here and we have a power button right here. Now on the front side here, we've made it very clean. There are no ports or plugs or outlets of any type, not even a lip uh, to open up the laptop. The front top has the Dell logo and has a really nice finish. It has a kind of a rubbery um, finish that um, grips well so that it won't slip out of your hands. On the back it has a label and of course down here it has the vent to allow um, the hot air from the um, CPU processor to vent out so your laptop does not overheat. At the main selling point of this laptop, which is its ability to turn into a tablet, and that's why it's referred to as two in one. And it's very easy. You over and presto, we have a tablet, and we can uh, right side up it, and it works very well. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the laptop itself, powered on by the power button on the side. And the first thing we get is the Dell logo. And it's going to boot right into Windows um, relatively fast. You get the lock screen. I hit the space bar. And you didn't see me sign on, but I did go ahead and sign on. I uh, cut that out of the video here. At any rate, um, this has a very clear, crisp, and brilliant uh, display. I think the high definition graphics on this uh, Dell 2-in-1 uh, 7000 series laptop is uh, very um, easy to um, 
watch or look at um, for long periods of time without your eyes getting tired. Now the touch screen or the uh, uh, the uh, touch pad rather is very um, sensitive but not overly sensitive. It, to me it's just right. It has a good feel to it. Um, I'm able to easily move the cursor around and I can also very quickly go up and uh, you know, move the uh, display um, or the start menu rather um, nice and easy with the touch screen capabilities and it's um, very sensitive. I don't have to um, press hard or or too light. It's just right in my opinion and open up uh, solitaire. It opened up really quick there and uh, we'll open up something else here. Let's go ahead and say OK. This was the first time I opened up solitaire. Um, at any rate, we'll close this out and uh, see if we can go ahead and open up uh, something else. I installed Word on here. Okay, let me see if I can find Word. Let me uh, use the touchpad to click on the start menu. And then I'll go up and use my finger on the touch screen and scroll up the menu and find Word. There it is. And as you can see, Word opened up almost instantaneously. And we can open up one of these templates and I'll say all right here. And as you can see, the response is very good. Let me go ahead and close Word out by touching the X on the touch screen. Now you can bring up a fully functional touch screen keyboard by pressing the keyboard icon in the taskbar. Of course, we can close it at any time. And then we can press the action center icon in the taskbar and then press tablet. And that puts Windows 10 into tablet mode, which is excellent to use when you're using the Dell laptop 2 and 1 um, as a tablet. And of course, we can at any time, we can go ahead and put it back into laptop mode simply by going back over to the taskbar and pressing the action center button again and then touching the laptop or tablet button. And we're back into laptop mode within Windows 10. OK, um, here's the specs on this particular uh, two in one laptop. It's from the 7000 series. Its model number is 7353. Its display is a 13.3 touch full high definition. Um, it has a Intel Core i5-6200U processor, 8 gig of memory, 128 gigabyte SSD. It um, has uh, integrated Intel high definition graphics. It has Windows 10 Home. It's wireless AC and Bluetooth. It um, has three cell battery, has a media card reader, HDMI ports, USB 3.0 ports. It has uh, max audio and it has a backlit keyboard. Now, uh, my opinion on this laptop so far is that it's built with good quality parts and it's a well-made laptop and I like it pros and cons. It does have an SSD in it, which is a pro, but it um, is only 128 gigabytes. Um, the reality is, is that uh, if 128 gigabytes of disk space is enough for you, then this is perfect. If it's not, I suggest that uh, when you buy this particular two and one laptop from Dell, that you up it to at least 256 SSD or a mechanical drive of 500 gigabytes or even one terabytes. Subscribe and like my video.